What's going on, my fellow jewelers? Happy holidays. This is the last push. This is the last push you have to make that last present for somebody. That's right. And today I chose a piece for my friend. She wanted a long jewelry and I just love her so much. She is the auntie to my son and daughters. I'm like, oh, I gotta make her something special. So I chose a long necklace. She asked for a long necklace, but I chose a really long necklace. Look at this. <gasps> With lots of bling and oh my god goodness oh my goodness these are so in everywhere I look on Pinterest that's right because Pinterest is the place to go for fashion right am I right am I right well these are so popular these long necklaces that that have all this clink and all this sparkle and pizzazz well I just had to make one for my friend because she wanted a long necklace and it's all hearts it's all hearts even the key has a heart on it isn't that so cute so anyway it's really easy to make it it took me minutes it took me minutes and it's gonna be look so cute on you when you make your own creation. So I'm excited about your creativity. So let's get started teaching you how to make this fabulous long clinkity clink necklace. So this is what you're going to need to make your fun long necklace. You're gonna need your tools. I have my cutter tools and then my round nose and long nose pliers. These are my electrician cutter tools and my jeweler cutter tools. For material, you're going to need chain to put around the person's neck. That's right, this is a chain to go around uh, the wearer's neck. Wearer, you like that? That's a new word, wearer. And then I have one, two, three, four chain to put my little findings on, my cute little beads and my metal findings. And then I have lots of split rings, lots of split rings because a lot of them have hoops and loops already that I'm just gonna put um, a split ring through. And then for the beads or the findings that don't have a loop on the top, I am going to use head pins. I'm gonna put a head pin through and put one loop at the top for every bead that doesn't have a hoop already. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get all my beads that don't have a loop at the top. I want to put a loop through it. So I am going to take my first bead and put it through and make sure that the hole is not bigger than your head pin. I'm going to take my cutter tool. I'm going to cut off enough of the wire because that's too much wire and I'm gonna make my loop. So I'm gonna use my round nose pliers and see how the round nose pliers, it goes from big, big to small, small to big or big to small, whichever. Um, and that is just helping you decide what size loop you want. I'm gonna do this at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna bend my, my wire back perfectly, 90 degree angle perfectly, yeah, right. And then I am going to put my wire in the middle because I want a medium sized loop. And then I'm just gonna curl it around until I have a loop yeah that's right look at that so i made my first loop so if you are just doing all beads then you're going to need to do a lot of that so go ahead and do all your beads that need head pins okay so i have done all my beads that need a head pin through i've done that and you may choose all beads that need head pins so go ahead and and make sure that all your beads have head pins through but since i'm doing part beads with head pins needed and part loops I'm going to now start assembling my beads onto my chain and I just want to do the big chain first so I'll just show you as an example so I'm going to grab a split ring I'm going to hold it with my tool I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to put my first big nice finding grab my chain I want this to go at the bottom so I put it through the last link and then with my flat nose pliers I am going to shut the split ring and make sure there's no gap if you have a gap jewelers then um, it will fall apart then the the bead or finding will fall off and the chain will fall off and we just want to make sure that there's no gap so <laughs> I'm so excited. And because I have a lot of chain, I am just going to randomly put my beads on. Also a little tip for you as well. See how this finding has two loops? I don't want two loops. I think it's really ugly when people leave a loop at the bottom. It just looks so unfinished. So if you have two loops, but you still really wanna use the finding, then cut it off. You can totally cut it off. And then on my flat nose pliers, I have little teeth. I use that for filing, yeah, to get rid of the sharpness. I use my fine filing. And look, now I just have one loop at 
uh, the top instead of two loops between the two. So I'm gonna put my, my beads and my findings throughout my chain. Yeah, look at that, it's so cute, so cute. Oh my goodness, I hope my friend really loves this because it is from my heart to hers. Haha, I get it, lots of hearts, okay. Anyway, so you're going to take your next chain and do the exact same thing. You're going to take every chain with every finding or bead and put them on according to how you want to organize it. And because I want a lot of bling bling, I'm putting a lot of, I'm putting four chains and lots of findings and beads and stuff. So go ahead and put all your findings and beads onto your chain. Okay, now that I have all my findings and beads on each chain, I'm going to put all my chain together and then put it on the chain that goes around the neck. So I'm going to take another split ring and I'm going to use it to put all of my chain um, onto one split ring. So I'm going to open it up. This is a, actually a spring. Open it up and I'm going to put every chain on it. You can use a split ring, you can use a metal hoop, you can use whatever you want. Um, I just have chosen to do this. So I'm going to the top of my chain. I'm putting the last link that the, or the first link on and I am putting it through and then I'm going to take my chain. I'm going to just pick because it's because there's nothing on it to define what the middle is. I'm just going to find a link and then put my jump ring through. And that my fellow jewelers is how you make a fun chunky necklace. Oh my word, isn't that fabulous? Oh, these are so in style. These, fa oh, the chunky and the long and the, oh, so much fun. I tell you, so much fun. I hope you had fun making it just as much as I enjoyed doing it and teaching you. Ooh, 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 think of all the possibilities. Think of all the, the little findings you can put on, all the beads you can put on, how chunky you can get. If you wanna go chunky, you can go extremely chunky. If you wanna be sparse, you can go sparse. This is a fabulous necklace for those that like long necklaces, long jewelry with a little cling clang to your day, little cling clang to your day. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love it when you tune in. I love Love it when you watch the how-to videos. So if you want to know when I post more videos, you can totally click right here to subscribe to my channel. And then here's two more of my other videos that I've done making other jewelry pieces. But that's it. If you want to comment, share, like, I love to hear what you think about this jewelry piece. Share with others you think need to see this video and then give me a big old thumbs up. All right, guys, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.